the pillar of the Community Award presented to the Honorable Gabriel Groisman for your leadership in confronting anti-Semitism and encouraging all Jews to stand up proudly. So as they walk down, I just want to say it's fun to be a, the father of five girls, two teenagers, because one of my daughters just whispered to me on stage, oh my god, you're so awkward on stage. <laughs> so if anybody's worried that an award is going to change my, uh, the way I am, don't worry. My daughters have taken care of it for you. For, first, I just want to say just some quick thank yous. I want to thank my parents who are here, my mom and dad, and my sister. My wife, Lisa, who begged me not to speak about her. So I'll only say, I'll only say that I love you, and these last 18 years have been quite a journey, but it's only the start. To my girls that made it, and to my girls who had to stay home because they're too little to my extended family who's here, and I just, a few shout outs to the Bell Harbor. How nice was it to have the honor guard here? Unbelievable. <laughs> my firm, LSM Partners, is here. My friends from Camondo. Uh, my colleagues from the Children's Tumor Foundation, which is a medical research foundation that takes a lot of my time and a big part of my heart. A lot of friends and a lot of elected officials, thank you so much for being here. You know, it's a really strange feeling, believe it or not, to get an award. I'm invited to speak at a lot of places, but it's not often that I get an award of any kind. I told Sharona that I don't because I like to ruffle feathers and most people don't like it. Luckily, a group like the ZOA specifically likes people who ruffle feathers. <laughs> so I just want to share quickly, they asked me just to speak for a few minutes, my philosophy of, what I, of why I do the things that I do. You know, every, every move that I've made for the Jewish community or for the state of Israel has come only from one place, and it's from my heart. And from my deep-seated belief that we must wipe out any remnants of the image that many people have had for many years of Jews as weak, apologetic Jews and replace it with a searing image of, strong, of a strong, unapologetic, and proud Jew, a Zionist. A Jew is a person rooted in moral and ethics in the Torah with a deep connection to the state of Israel, our historic homeland, but who is equally strong with a pen as he or she is with a sword. My philosophy is that as Jews, we must fight every fight. Oftentimes people say, don't take on this issue, we might lose. I disagree. I think to fight is to survive. And what we're fighting against is as important as what we're fighting for. We're fighting against anti-Semitism in all facets of our society. Don't let anybody fool you. In every facet of our society, in every corner of our nation, in every political party, in every social group, in every university, we're fighting anti-Semitism in ways that we haven't for many years. We're fighting against an ever-growing apathy within the Jewish community. Hundreds of thousands of Jews don't care about being Jewish. That's a serious fight for our community, for those in this room. We're fighting against incessant lies about the Jewish people, nonstop lies about the state of Israel. If you think about it, we're fighting about, we're here with the Zionist Organization of America in many corners of this country. People are afraid to even say they're Zionist. Zionist has become a bad word. What is Zionism? Zionism is the theory, the philosophy, the ethos that Jews have the right to live in our historic homeland, Israel. That's it. But we have to remember also what we're fighting for and continue to fight as hard of what we're fighting for as what we are fighting against. So what are we fighting for? At bottom, we're fighting for the continuity of our people. We're fighting for the beauty 
of our religion. And we're fighting for the strengthening and the flourishing and the continuing flourishing of the modern day state of Israel. Now I have a news flash that a lot of my friends that are activists in this space don't like. But I've said it to them and I mean it. We cannot stop anti-Semitism. There's all these movements and the hatred and Jew hatred. Started by a friend of mine. It's a great, great idea. It's never going to happen. If you don't believe me, ask my parents in Argentina, my grandparents, my great-grandparents in, in Russia, Ukraine, in Poland. Ask my uncle's family from Turkey, from Spain. Just keep going back in history. The only thing that's changing is the clock is moving. The anti-Semitism isn't going anywhere. But what we have to do is we must strengthen our community. People talk about Jewish unity, but they don't mean it. We need real Jewish unity. We need to teach our children and our friends and our families what it is to be a Jew. We have to teach everyone, like Menachem Begin always said, that as Jews we walk with 3,500 years of history behind us. We're closer to 4,000 years now. That's who we are. And if we teach that to our children and we strengthen our community and we continue to fight every fight, we're going to continue to flourish despite the anti-Semitism, despite the incessant lies about us in the state of Israel. We're going to continue to flourish and to be a light unto the nations. Thank you so much.